Hey everybody, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next part that I want to show you with these soft cover journals. Now, of course, I'm going to do a little recap here. Um, this is what I've used to um, kind of as the base, let's say. Um, those of you that have watched the past videos, you know that fabric came attached to this piece. Sometimes it's only you know, about that big. Sometimes it's a little bigger. Um, I guess I don't think any other companies do it, but this one, I've not seen it most of the time. Everybody else has big samples. And I want to apologize for my camera being so close. I've kind of done a little rearranging, and with the stack that I have here, we're kind of like right up at the camera. But we're going to get through this. So anyway, so that was my base. The first thing then that I did was is I took the sorry silk and pressed it with a flat iron. Yep, like you're using your hair. And then I glued it to what I was going to do was the outside. Let me back up. I did cut those grommets off across the top. Um, so I glued it what I thought was, you know, eyeballing the center and let that dry. And then I came back with another piece of uh, upholstery fabric is what I've used. I'm using what I have and I have a lot of upholstery samples. And I'm giving more all the time. <laughs> so I need to use this stuff. Anyhow, so I covered the outside, let that dry, and folded it up then. I went ahead and folded it so it could kind of, you know, get its position. Um, I use Yes Paste um, out of the jar. So that was what I did next. And then um, I had a day retreat, pretty local. I decided at that point in time, I was going to use other fabric samples, smaller pieces that I have, and kind of make a book plate. I also have leather samples, a lot of leather. Now, if you like the way these book plates look, I'm going to do a little commercial here. I do have these in my Etsy shop, and I sell them in a pack of five. And I try to give you an assortment. If there's like a certain color you want or whatever, you can write it in the notes, and I'll do my best to get it for you. Um, but anyhow, so the two layers and then the book plate and that is just a piece of coffee stained paper that I used my laser printer at work and put like 10 journals I think typed out the word journal like 10 times on a paper and because it was laser printing I was able to get it wet and so I coffee stained it so it's a little stained and then I learned the hard way to put the brads on the leather before I glued this down to the fabric because those brads, the prongs on them, chances are, are not going to be thick enough to go through one, two, three, four, five, counting, counting this, five um, um, depths. So, you know, if you just do the brad, fold back the tongs, and then you can glue it down. Yep, means you can't take this out. I guess unless you didn't glue at the top, and that's a possibility, but I, I glued it all the way down. So I did that, and then my next step was to do the inside covers. Now what I also tried to do is any fabric that I used in these soft cover journals, I kept in a separate pile. Because if you look, this cover is the same material with these pockets. and my plan that I wanted to do was a pencil pocket and then a regular pocket um, on this side. But it just, I don't know, it didn't feel right to me. wasn't coming out right. So I just did two pockets with the fabric that I had left over. So before I adhered the inside fabric to this on the inside, I glued down my pockets. And let them dry. So I had a little assembly line going, and that's what I did. I glued down each one of them, and then once I knew the glue was dry, now remember too, I also did 20 of these, so I had a pretty good length of time in between. So I glued down 20 of them, then I came back with just a big zigzag stitch, and I sewed them down to just the inside fabric. That was it. Then you know, and there was math involved because you kind of had to make sure that you didn't go into the spine and measuring. So once I kind of got all that figured out with the first couple, I then 
took my fabric. This had already been trimmed on the outside to the right size. So then I took this fabric for the inside that I'd sewn these pockets to, glued and sewed the pockets to. Let me back up. I then took my Yes Paste and um, smoothed it on one side, made sure it was kind of where I wanted it to be, and then smoothed it on the other side. Went through all 20 of them doing that. And then once they all were dry, because remember, you do not want to put a wet needle, or excuse me, a, a sewing machine needle through wet glue. Um, yeah, it'll it's going to rock your world if you do that. So then again, once it was all dry, I just came back and I stitched the whole entire inside, outside, all together. So now if this fabric frays any, it won't be so bad because it's going to have a stopping point. And hopefully it won't anyway because I have glued it all the way to the edge. So that's what I've done. So at this point in time, I thought it would be cool. I got things sliding here and I don't want them to mess with my laptop and cut you off. Um, I thought I'd give you a little flip through of each one of them so you can see the outside covers as well as the inside covers. And um, I know some of them are a little funky, but you figure when I get the signatures in there, and that sorry silk is kind of, I might have to do something there, but um, I like them. I think that they're neat. Um, that one is a little more masculine, <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I used what I had. You know, the inside for the most part matches the outside. And then the pieces around the book plate are kind of just miscellaneous. Um, and that, yeah, I was going to say in that case, I might have even used some of this, but I didn't. So now what I plan to do is I build my signatures, which are kind of already built. I'm just embellishing them some. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I really like that book plate and that color and, and this. I guess that's what I should be doing too is just showing you the back. Let me go back here and just flip through real quick, show you the backs. I mean, some of them weren't too exciting, but some of them are pretty. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And, you know, like some of these really kind of jump out at you. So there's that one. And then just the back. This isn't going to take too long, so hold tight. You might get an idea here. This one probably is one of my favorite. Kind of reminds me of a rug, Persian rug and some of them are a little thicker than others some of them are more thin and again you have to remember this is all upholstery fabric now this one I did a little different because I liked that design front and back I liked the design so I didn't want to plop the old book plate right up you know on top of that and then that's the inside there let me go ahead and slide these behind me Give me a second. All right, let's finish here. Whoops, got things piled up here all around me. So I think that one's kind of cool too. In that case, I must have run out of that fabric because I used that as a pocket. I like this one too. I think this one's neat. You know, and the only thing that I have here where I've spent any money to make these, besides the thread, of course, um, is the sorry silk ribbon. That's the only thing. Everything else, you know, I've has been given to me. It's it's been samples. This one was a little weird to me. If you're gonna try this with upholstery samples, I wouldn't do this. I would not do quilted material. It you can see the like the batting. Um, I might go back and like stain that um, and 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 darken it up some. But don't do that. You know, I, I, I always try to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that was a, not necessarily an ugly, but it's just a kind of, let's think about this one. And here we go on this one. All right, let me go ahead and get these out of my way. Now, these three here, um, just to kind of give you an idea, I've started putting signatures in them. Let me back up here. I've uh, started putting signatures in them. This book plate I had a little trouble with. I had glued it down. This is one of the first ones I did. I glued it down and realized the prongs wouldn't go through everything. So I tried to pry it up. So this side got a little messed up. But you know what? 
it's it is what it is it's uh it's a junk journal and if you'll notice this is the inside piece to this book plate so that's one look at the blue on me um that's one of the things that i'm going to do is try to again any scraps anything that i had left over i'm going to try to put them inside of here i'm going to see if i could do a quick flip through yep like here this is a pocket that is the front of this cover and uh just stuck a little something in there for now that's just some other little pieces um that's a piece of upholstery fabric um i don't know that's probably about it i haven't done a whole lot and that's again the front cover and then there's the back cover excuse me material from the front cover and then here this one is light and airy i like that and then the pocket of course is from the same material on the front i've done a few little things in there now i'm starting to match up the signatures to the actual journal covers because i'm trying to still use kind of the same materials throughout so that's why now i've been taking the clips off of them i have everything clipped to this point and um, now i've been taking the clips off and actually putting them inside of the journals and um so hopefully hopefully yeah we'll um help keep them together and this one i like this too let's see this is a little whoppy right here right now <laughs> let's get that straight elaine we'll fix it when we sew in the signature um, but there's that one and of course that's the cover the material from the cover and there it is again and then just the back is just kind of plain so those are really the only three that i've actually kind of attempted to put signatures in but um I don't know. It's I've got them like I said all clipped together. I've got so that's three that I've put inside the journals. I have um 17 more to work on and I just I don't know. You know how things are. You kind of do it a little bit and then kind of gets to you say, "Yeah, I got to take a break." So I've got a whole little setup with just this on a table all by itself and um and and hopefully it's it's you know i'm gonna keep on plugging away here so that is what i've done so far the outside covers the inside covers with pockets it's got its sorry silk ribbon on it and the signatures are together i don't know that i'm going to add any more pages to them i'll take another look at that as i um, progress with putting them in um, i think i've got about 25 sheets of paper so what is that then that's 100 pages i think that's pretty good and another commercial remember i do have blueprints in my etsy shop um now i'm going to warn you shipping is a little expensive on them so i try to give you enough blueprints to kind of make it all worth your while to pay that kind of shipping i have gobs of blueprints and um you know and, and i think i give a pretty good assortment and a good amount and most of the time I, I give a few more than and then what it says in the shop um, so one more commercial for me so at this point in time I want to say thanks and I do my best to put up a video every Tuesday evening so come back and check me out again and, and again join me in my Facebook group or my Facebook page uh, again my Etsy shop it's all called Larkin Lane creations I'm also on Instagram and Twitter and my personal Facebook as Elaine Williams Larkin and then you can also find me on Pinterest, Elaine Larkin or Larkin Lane Create. And that's me. So I appreciate it. And come on back. And hopefully the next video, I'll have this all finished and wrapped up. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Have a good one and behave. Bye.